Welcome to World Celebrity Island. In today's video, we delve into the life and career of the iconic Pam Greer. From her groundbreaking roles in 1970s blaxploitation films to her continued influence on pop culture today, Pam Greer has left an indelible mark on cinema. Join us as we explore her journey, her triumphs, and the impact she's had on the entertainment industry. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to World Celebrity Island and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan of Pam Greer or if you're excited to learn more about her incredible career. And hey, sharing is caring, so be sure to share this video with your friends who also admire Pam Greer's work. We love hearing from you, so drop us a comment down below with your favorite Pam Greer movie or moment. Now, let's get started. Biography Pam Greer, born on May 26, 1949, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, emerged as one of the most iconic figures in American cinema, particularly during the 1970s. Her journey from a small-town girl to a groundbreaking actress is a testament to her resilience, talent, and determination. Greer's early life was marked by both challenges and aspirations. Growing up in a racially segregated environment, she developed a passion for entertainment from a young age, inspired by the movies she watched with her family. Despite facing obstacles, including racial discrimination and poverty, Greer remained determined to pursue her dreams in the world of acting. Her career began to take shape when she moved to Los Angeles in the late 1960s. Initially working odd jobs to make ends meet, Greer soon caught the attention of Hollywood with her striking beauty, charisma, and undeniable talent. She made her film debut in 1970 with a small role in Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, but it was her breakthrough performance as the titular character in Coffee, 1973, that catapulted her to stardom. Pam Greer became synonymous with the blaxploitation genre, which emerged during the 1970s and provided a platform for black actors and filmmakers to tell stories centered around African-American characters. Greer's portrayals of strong, independent women, often taking on roles as vigilantes seeking justice in a corrupt world, resonated deeply with audiences and solidified her status as a cultural icon. Throughout the 1970s, Greer starred in a series of successful blaxploitation films, including, Foxy Brown, 1974, Sheba, Baby, 1975, and Friday Foster, 1975, cementing her reputation as the queen of the genre. Her characters were fierce, fearless, and unapologetically authentic, challenging stereotypes and breaking barriers in Hollywood. Despite the decline of the blaxploitation era in the late 1970s, Pam Greer's career continued to evolve. She transitioned to television, appearing in series like Miami Vice and The Cosby Show, and explored diverse roles in both film and television throughout the 1980s and 1990s. In the 2000s, Greer experienced a resurgence in popularity with Quentin Tarantino's homage to the blaxploitation era, Jackie Brown, 1997, in which she delivered a critically acclaimed performance as the titular character. The film revitalized interest in Greer's career and introduced her to a new generation of fans. Beyond her acting career, Pam Greer is also known for her activism and philanthropy, advocating for causes such as women's rights, animal welfare, and HIV, AIDS awareness. She continues to inspire audiences with her resilience, grace, and enduring legacy as a trailblazer in Hollywood. Net worth Pam Greer's net worth was estimated to be around $20 million. However, it's essential to note that net worth figures can fluctuate over time due to various factors such as investments, business ventures, and changes in the entertainment industry. Greer's net worth reflects her successful career as an actress spanning several decades, during which she starred in numerous films and television shows. Her iconic roles in blaxploitation classics like Coffee and Foxy Brown contributed significantly to her financial success, as did her later work in projects like Quentin Tarantino's, Jackie Brown, and various television series. Additionally, Greer's net worth may also stem from endorsements, appearances, and other business ventures she has pursued throughout her career. While her net worth may have changed since my last update, Pam Greer's enduring legacy and contributions to entertainment continue to be celebrated by fans worldwide. Relationship Pam Greer's personal life has been relatively private, 
but she has had several notable relationships over the years. One of her most well-known relationships was with comedian Richard Pryor. The two shared a romantic connection during the 1970s, a time when both were prominent figures in the entertainment industry. Their relationship garnered significant attention from the media and fans alike, although details about the extent and duration of their romance remain largely undisclosed. In addition to her relationship with Pryor, Greer has been linked to other individuals, including basketball legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. However, specific details about these relationships have not been extensively publicized, reflecting Greer's preference for maintaining privacy regarding her personal affairs. Regarding children, Pam Greer does not have any biological children of her own. However, she has been actively involved in the lives of her nieces and nephews, whom she often refers to as her surrogate children. Greer has spoken fondly about her role in their lives, emphasizing the importance of family and nurturing relationships. While Greer's romantic relationships and family life have been subjects of occasional public interest, she has chosen to keep many details private, prioritizing her personal boundaries and maintaining a level of discretion regarding her personal affairs. As a result, much of her personal life remains out of the public eye, allowing her to focus on her career and the aspects of her life that she holds most dear. House and Mansions Pam Greer, known for her roles in various films and TV shows, listed her house in the Sherman Oaks area of Los Angeles and bought a new home in Marina del Rey for about $1.25 million each. The Sherman Oaks house is a three-level contemporary with five bedrooms, four baths, multiple decks overlooking the San Fernando Valley, and a pool on about an acre of land. On the other hand, their Marina del Rey home is located in the Silver Strand area, has five bedrooms in 5,800 square feet, and offers a nice view of the ocean. Pam Greer mentioned that they plan to keep multiple homes, including one in Colorado to be near their families. The Malibu home previously owned by Dodi Fayed was sold to Stan Kroenke for about $9 million. This six-bedroom oceanfront mansion was initially purchased by Fayed for approximately $7.3 million before his tragic passing alongside Princess Diana in 1997. The house features a Tuscan villa style and sits on five acres of land. Actor Michael Newry and his wife put their Pacific Palisades home on the market for just under $1.1 million after living there for 11 years. The Mediterranean style house built in 1928 by a 20th century Fox set designer includes two bedrooms, 2.5 baths, and unique movie memorabilia like gargoyles from The Hunchback of Notre Dame and items from Mutiny on the Bounty. Frank Sinatra's Desert Estate built in 1969 and owned until 1982 is currently on the market for $2.1 million. The gated property overlooks Palm Desert and features a main house, guest house, pool house with saunas, a pool, and a tennis court. Car Collections Pam Greer is known to have a passion for cars and has collected several classic and luxury vehicles over the years. While specific details about her car collection are not extensively documented, it is reported that she owns a variety of cars that reflect her personal style and interests. Greer's love for vintage cars and classic automobiles is evident in her collection, which likely includes iconic models from different eras. As a prominent figure in the entertainment industry with a successful career spanning decades, she has had the means to indulge in her passion for cars and acquire unique and valuable pieces. Given her status as a Hollywood icon and her appreciation for classic vehicles, Pam Greer's car collection is likely diverse and impressive, showcasing her taste for luxury, style, and automotive history. Overall, while specific details about Pam Greer's car collection may not be widely publicized, it is evident that she has a keen interest in cars and enjoys owning unique and noteworthy vehicles. And that's a wrap on our exploration of Pam Greer's legacy. We hope you enjoyed learning more about this trailblazing actress and the impact she's had on Hollywood. Remember, if you want to keep up with all the latest celebrity news and profiles, be sure to subscribe to World Celebrity Island. Give this video a like if you found it informative, and don't forget to share it with your fellow film buffs. We appreciate your support, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, keep shining like the stars you are.